words of sri aurobindo from the book the mother part 2 letters on the mother chapter working of the mother's force page 142 last stanza the feeling of the vibration of the mother's force around the head is more than a mental idea or even a mental realization it is an experience this vibration is indeed the action of the mother's force which is first felt about the head or around it then afterwards within the head the pressure means that it is working to open the mind and its centers so that it may enter the mind centers are in the head one at the top and above it another between the eyes a third in the throat that is why you feel the vibration around the head and sometimes up to the neck but not below it is so usually for it is only after enveloping and entering the mind that goes below to the emotional and vital parts heart navel etc though sometimes it is more enveloping before it enters the body date 24/3/1937 shorbindo continues to say this is the meaning of your experiences the power of the divine mother from above is descending upon you and the pressure you feel on your head and the workings of which you are aware are hers put yourself completely into her hands have entire confidence observe carefully and accurately all that happens and write that here there is no need of special instructions since what is needed is being done for you second point the first pressure was on your mind the centers of the mind are a the head and above it b the center of the forehead between the eyes c the throat and the vital mental emotional and sensational mind centers from the breast downward it is this later which is the first prana of which you become aware the action of the power was to widen these two parts of you and raise them up towards the lower center of the higher consciousness above your head so that hereafter they might both be consciously governed from there and that these might both move in a wide universal consciousness not limited by the body third point the other prana the restless one of which you become aware is the vital being the being of desire and life moment the work of the power has been directed towards quieting the restless moments and making it wide in consciousness as with the mind the large body you felt was the vital body not the physical sthula sharira fourth point the basis of your sadhana must be silence and quiet you must remain and grow always more and more deeply quiet and still both in yourself and in your attitude to the world around you if you can do this the sadhana is likely to go on progressing and enlarging itself with a minimum of trouble and disturbance go on quietly trusting to the power that is at work in you
this weight or pressure on the head is always the sign that the mother's force is in contact with you and pressing from above to envelop your being and enter the adhara and pervade it usually passing by degrees through the centers on its way downward sometimes it comes first as peace sometimes as force sometimes as the mother's consciousness and her presence sometimes as ananda when you lost it before it must have been due to either to some uprising of the vital imperfections in yourself or an attack from outside of course the pressure need not always be there but if things take the ordinary course it usually recurs or else continues until the adhara is open and there is no further obstacle to the descent of the higher consciousness date 18/9/1933 sri arvindo continues to say it is the descent of the mother's force from above through the spinal cord it is a well known moment there are two or three kinds of descent one is this touching the base of the center which rest on the spinal cord another is through the head into the body from go- going from level to level till the whole body is filled and opening all the centers of consciousness another is a descent enveloping the adhara from outside date 1 2 1934